Hey Taurus, what's up Taurus? It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. Welcome back to my channel. I am here to do your You Versus Them Love Reading. This is going to be for Taurus, someone rising, also Venus. Keep in mind that this is general. It is for all Taurus. But it may not resonate with you all. So please do only take what resonates with Taurus. Never force it to fit your situation. If I resonate, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell, and our follow. And if you guys would love to book a personal reading, fireintuition.com. The September box is now available on my online shop, mytears.com. If you guys want more information on the September box, the raffle, or any of my specials, um, all that information will be pinned in the comments below. All you guys can go to the community tab, my IG page, or my Facebook page. Again, that information will be pinned in the description box. Well, pinned in the comments are in the description box below. All right. So let's see what's going on with Taurus. All right. Let's see what's going on with Taurus. Some more than also Venus Spirit. Give me messages for Taurus. How does Taurus currently feel? So we have the four swords in reverse. You could be opening up about something, ready to speak up about something, ready to talk, ready to come out of separation. The tower is here. You could be having a tower moment. We have Scorpio energy here. The Knight of Cups. Yeah, you're doing a lot of releasing and letting go. The Three of Swords is in reverse with the Four of Cups and the King of Wands. You guys have, could have new love coming in. Are you guys um, are reconnecting with somebody? Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Uh oh. So let's see what's going on with you, Taurus. It looks like somebody's coming in to reconcile with you, to apologize. Looks like there's new love coming in as well for some of you. But it looks like you guys are about to come out, come out of separation. It's like that tower had to come in between. Like, it's like, not in between, but it's like, once you guys go through this tower, it's like things are about to shift and change. The high priestess. Yeah, you feel it coming. Pisces energy. You guys can be dealing with a Pisces. Maybe you feel this coming. You feel this person coming. But I feel like with the tower, it's like, you know something needed to end so that you guys can rebuild something on a solid foundation. Or it's like whatever you were bottling in, holding on to, it's like you're releasing and surrendering. Um... You're, you guys are coming out of separation, and I see some type of reconciliation. Yeah, I see that's coming out of separation with somebody. Could be a Sagittarius. Seven of Swords, in reverse. Let me see why I got there. The Fool. Yeah, you feel like somebody was lying to you about coming back or lying to you about some type of new beginning, and they're not. They are actually coming back. So whoever this is, they you could feel like they were lying or like they're a liar. They're not coming back. They're always lying about something. And they're coming back to apologize, to tell you how they feel. Somebody is taking a leap of faith. Somebody is just like, you know what, fuck it. I'm just going to go after it and manifest it because this is what I want. So in your energy, Taurus, what I'm really getting is that you guys are going through a lot of mixed emotions and feelings. You guys could have recently had a tower experience, tower moment, whatever you want to call it. And I feel like there was a lot of crying, releasing we have the three of swords it's a reverse but the three of swords reverse can be like you're letting it all out like you're releasing what you've been bottling up or what you've been holding on to so you're finally freeing yourself of some type of emotion or feeling or pain or something like that somebody that stepped outside on like stepped outside of the relationship or like you know wasn't ready to settle down with the fool in reverse is now coming back to you to manifest this relationship and bring the connection back together and i feel like that's what you currently are feeling in your energy this is what you're wanting but I feel like this is also what's happening. Now with the chariot in reverse, could be a cancer. There was some type of delay here. You needed to free yourself of something. Okay? Or you needed to free yourself from something, whether it was a way of thinking, believing, feeling, something. It's the devil in reverse. And now that you're free of this energy, it's like this person is coming in. So I do see you coming out of separation and reconciling with somebody. Let me see. Somebody's mind, thoughts, or something like that is what had them stuck. See, and now that you guys let that go with the devil in reverse, look, see the emperor. This person is now coming in. The offer that you guys are waiting for. So you guys have an offer coming in. 
See, look, three of cups, ace of cups. It's coming in. So this offer is coming in in the next few months. It could be sooner than that for a lot of you guys. Um, going to the Knight of Cups, yep, see four of wands. Somebody is, you guys are coming into union, going into union. Four of swords, I mean, sorry, not four of swords, eight of swords, reverse. Somebody is no longer confused, stuck. Feeling mentally, are feeling mentally restricted. Somebody also could be free, out of jail, out of prison, whatever, but it's like somebody is free. They're no longer in their head. They're coming towards you guys to reconcile, so... And your energy, what it's pretty much is telling me and how you guys feel is you guys are releasing. You guys have been doing a lot of crying, maybe sad, just going through a lot. And you have surrendered and broke free to something. Some type of way, of, like I said, feeling, thinking, or something that you guys are holding on to, bottling up. And now that you have released that energy, it has uh, made room for this person to come in. So I do see some type of reconciliation between you guys. All right, so let's see. It's like you no longer feel the same anymore about this person. It's like your your feelings, your energy towards this person is a lot more positive or will be a lot more positive. And that's, you know, when they're going to start coming in. So once you shift your energy, things are going to shift to a bond. Yeah, this person is coming towards you. They're headed towards you. Somebody has made some type of decision or it's just like they're coming towards you now. Um, how does your person feel? Queen of Swords. They cut a lot of things out. Put a lot of people out. See the Eight of Cups are coming back to return. The world card is here. Somebody is coming back. The only thing is, if the Eight of Cups reverse, it could be a return, but it's also like, you know, somebody returning and like, they might return and not be happy, but it's like, this person is like, you know what? I'm just going to do it anyway. There, there's some fear here. They're scared, but they're still going to do it anyway. You are showing up as the Queen of Pentacles. So, yeah, they're just going to take the risk. King of Cups, they love you. They, yeah, they want to come talk to you. I feel like somebody feels misunderstood, or somebody was very stubborn, or maybe both you guys were coming out of some type of stubborn energy. Is what I'm also getting for some of you guys. So, but let's see. We got this two of wands. Six of wands. Yep, they are ready. They're coming in fast. Somebody's coming in to offer some type of commitment. But the higher bond is also like a teacher, somebody learning a lesson, somebody went through some type of transformation. This is a major transformation, a major change, a major shift. So something has changed. This person has changed towards, they're not the same, or you're not, or something about this person that is like different. I want to go into the Queen of Swords because I really feel like this person has cut off or cut out what no longer serves them. I was looking at swords here for the course of person. The five of cups. So look, see, they're they're they have accepted their feelings are accepted what they have done wrong. They're no longer in regret. Somebody has been doing a lot of work, a lot of healing. Somebody feels like they're better or like in a, a better like like they're just in a better energy. They're happy, they're ready to like, you know, enjoy life, live their best life. This is also like nine of cups. Like this is like wish fulfillment. Like this is something that they want. I got a card flipped over. Let's see. There was somebody in the way, but I don't feel like it was like a third party far as yeah. See the strength card. I don't feel like it was a romantic partner. Somebody could have been like a mama's boy, or was like tied to their family, and that was like the biggest lesson for them. They were conditioned like, or they were they just have beliefs or. Like, really, like, this, you know, wrapped around their family's finger or their family held them back. Because, like, somebody's family didn't like, didn't like you or, like, their mother or somebody that they care for or love didn't like you. But that's how that person feels towards everybody. It's not just you, Taurus. It's just, like, that's how they are. But I feel like they were the baby of the family or somebody was baby five, mama's boy, or just, like, very spoiled. And they had to cut some stuff out, cut people out. Somebody needed to cut people off and grow up and start maturing and somebody is getting their finances together as well um some of you guys are that are like i don't know i'm getting like i see an apartment but then it's like or i see a tall building that looks like an apartment in the house some of you guys are about to move out though some of you guys are gonna move in with this person or they're moving in with you or somebody just moved into a new apartment or moved into a new house whether you're renting or buying a house it doesn't matter it's like i just see a house and i see a tall building that looks like an apartment to me so it's like somebody is um, ready to invest. 
into this relationship. They're going to reach out to you. They've been watching you. They've been going back and forth as to when they should reach out to you and what should they say. Let's see how this Eight of Cups is here in reverse. See, the Eight of Cups are coming back in with a love offer. Told you, Taurus. And you look, you guys are both in the Four of Swords in reverse. Both ready to speak up. Both ready to say something. Both ready to come out of separation. You guys are both coming towards each other without realizing. We have the Two of Wands here twice. Somebody gets a, somebody gets some type of lesson or is understanding some type of lesson they were going through or, or in or it's like somebody is moving out of a lesson. Meaning like somebody is choosing no longer to walk that path or to go with that person or to do as somebody says or something like that. They're taking charge. They're, they're like in the driver's seat. They're moving forward. They're going towards a new beginning. Somebody is going to be hurt by it, but somebody is ready for peace, growth, and stability in their life. And no longer wanting to hold on to what was holding back, holding them back. So they are coming in with some type of serious offer. See the tower. So what I see stopping you guys though is if the tower is in reverse. Let's see something really quick. The Hermit in reverse, Nine of Wands in reverse, Three of Cups. So this is the situation they're in now, or whatever they got going on now. They're about to wake up and come out of this. They're holding on to something that is no longer there as far as a foundation, a belief, a way, whatever it is. They're about to have their tower moment. Are about to go through some type of tower experience or tower. Once they do, it's going to wake them up. Or it's like, give me one more card. It's like, if it's, but overall what I'm getting is, I do see the reconnection. See the three of cups, three of cups, and I see the empress. But it's like, if they didn't see something the same way as you once before, or if they were like ignoring something that's right in front of them, they're no longer going to ignore it any, anymore. You get what I'm saying, Taurus? So let's see. They're having some type of epiphany. They're coming out of confusion. They're going to make some type of romantic gesture or say something, apologize. Reach out. Yeah. They're confident now. Male or female, it doesn't matter. Page of Wands, Queen of Wands is somebody that's very confident. They're very confident in what, in what they're saying, what they're about to do. So, um, I see this being like a week or so behind each other or like a couple weeks behind each other and how the energy is coming out towards. So, it's like if you, like, it's like you're going to have your tower moment, then like a couple weeks later they are. Or they're going to have theirs, then you. I'm not sure what order it's going to go in, but you guys are both going to like get on the same page. Like it's like, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but you guys are both going to be in the energy of like ready to talk, ready to move forward, ready to come out of separation, ready to reconcile. It's like, you're going to both feel the energy. Like you guys are both going to be like the timing is right. Are you just going to know or feel it or they are or both you guys are. I told you was like one-sided or somebody didn't see things the way you've seen them like they didn't see it from your perspective so that's why the connection is not balanced something needs to be addressed so they're they're going to address the issues that are that have come in or that are in the way of this relationship dating open to love getting to know people not committed to just one person so this person has been dating or you guys have been dating or there's something about this relationship that was just one-sided we have fire, play with this fire, you will get burned, ready for, let me see, just got out of something and ready for commitment. So, somebody could have also been dating you while coming out of a relationship and just wasn't ready to commit and just had you in a one-sided situation with them. And it could have been because they got out of something. And now they're ready to commit and wanting your forgiveness. And now this person is ready to come back authentic and real and like they're really wanting to come back and be their true self or they are like just how they're going to show up is how they really are like the person that they really are you know maybe they kind of lost themselves in another situation or like i said they were just getting out of something but either way i do see guys coming out of separation 
So that's some of you guys, this is an offer that you guys are waiting for. Okay. Let's see, Taurus. Messages for Taurus. We have it doesn't feel right without you. So somebody feels like it doesn't feel right without you. The truth is, I'm scared to tell you the truth. So I'm going to see what this is about. So maybe they were just scared to tell you certain things. Maybe they were scared to tell you the truth. But at the same time, they're just like, it doesn't feel right without Taurus in my life. Eight of Wands, yeah. I feel like there's so much they need to tell you. Or there's so much they have to tell you. Yeah. Before you guys move forward, or that's why you guys couldn't move forward. Because they just had to tell you the truth. But it looks like the path is clear. The Eight of Wands, Three of Wands, that's you guys moving forward. I don't see anything in the way. I just see the truth coming out. But I don't see any negative cards. Like I don't see where I'm like, oh, once the truth comes out, this and this and that. No. The Emperor is here. The Page of Pentacles. Nine of Cups. Their mind is focused on you now. And just moving this forward. And slowly but surely, they are going to like engage or make some type of... You know, not make. They're going to propose something to you guys. There's something that you guys talked about and they want to move forward with those plans. So that does look good. But um, I feel like they will tell you the truth. I feel like you already know intuitively. Taurus are like, they're going to eventually tell you. But I just feel like it's not going to affect you guys anymore. Because I just see you guys moving forward. I don't see any negative energy around that card. Maybe that's their past feelings and they were just scared to tell you the truth. Maybe that was the truth. The truth is that they were just scared. All right. So that is what I have for you, Taurus. If it resonated, give your girl a thumbs up, like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. And if you guys would love to book a, a personal reading with me, fireintuition.com. Bye, Taurus.